uh, I'll be talking about the uh, end of life of microscanner. So recently we announced uh, microscanner is now duplicated in favor of Trivi. So now the Trivi can be embedded, embedded in a Docker file and we recommend using our open source scanner Trivi uh, for vulnerability scanning. So I'll explain the detail and uh, how to use Trivi instead of microscanner. So first of all, microscanner is a vulnerability scanner for container images. So it's not open source, but uh, free to use. And it's designed to be run as part of the image build. And so this is uh, how we can use microscanner. So you can add a microscanner to your Docker file. So uh, at first, you have to install microscanner and change the uh, uh, mode permission and uh, eventually uh, finally uh, just uh, run microscanner with token. So <clears throat> if your image has a vulnerability, uh, this token build will fail. So yeah, you can uh, easily integrate uh, this build process into your CS system. So you don't need to add uh, additional tasks, additional job in your CI. You just, uh, wrap, you just build the image and uh, microscanner detects vulnerability and fails your job. So, and Trivi uh, is an open source scanner for container images and it was developed in 2019. So it's been around one year. And now Trivi has uh, 4,400 stars on GitHub. And uh, Trivi has a bunch of features easy installation, simple, fast, and DevSecOps. Uh, Trivi also can be easily integrated into your CS system. So this is uh, how to run Trivi. Uh, okay, I'll show the demo. So, okay, Trivi, an image, and uh, specify your uh, image you want to scan. For example, Alpine 3.2. And that's it. So you can see the result. And so you can insert this one line into your CI as a new, new job or a new task. Okay. And the Truby used to be open source scanner for container images, uh, but now it's wrong because recently Truby got to be open source scanner for artifacts. So now Trivi supports uh, multiple formats. And from 0 0.9, uh, Trivi supports file system. Uh, Trivi can scan file systems such as the host machine and the virtual machine and an unpacked container image file system. So in this example, uh, Trivi file system subcommand uh, with pass to your project, including the log files. So if your project has a log files, such as pip file log, it is a log file for Python, and gem file log for Ruby, and composer log, JSON for PHP, and to be look for vulnerabilities based on those log files. And I have the demo. Okay, so you can see the project, including pip file lock. This is uh, for Python and uh, specify the path to this project. So now you can see the vulnerabilities, Django, the PyYaml, but <clears throat> this result includes uh, vulnerabilities with low severity. So if you wanna <coughs> filter vulnerabilities by severity, you can specify minus minus severity. Now you can see the high security vulnerabilities only. Uh, okay, so also uh, Truby can scan the container image from inside the container. Uh, in this case, uh, at first, uh, log into the container image, Alpine 3.102, and install the dependency and uh, install the Truby binary. So this install script detects the OS and the architecture 
and uh, downloads the three B binary uh, according to your environment. And finally, uh, just uh, specify slash with fs sub command. Uh, you can see the result. Uh, in addition, uh, you can scan the container image as part of the build process by embedding Trivi in Docker file. Uh, this, in this example uh, from Alpine 3.7, and uh, the remaining are the same as a file system scan. Just uh, install dependency and install Trivi and run Trivi file system with slash. So this is a demo. Okay. Oops. This is a Docker file. Uh, so if you build this image by Docker build command, to be detects vulnerabilities in this image. Docker build, uh, minus t test dot. Now uh, it, it's installing to be binary 0 0.9. And now it's downloading the database uh, for vulnerability information. Then uh, you can see the result. As you can see, the, this Docker build failed uh, with a non-zero code, exit code one. So this is uh, <clears throat> almost the same as a micro scanner. So now uh, you can replace micro scanner with Truby in Docker file. Uh, yes, so that's it. And uh, I, I gave a presentation in the CNCF member webinar uh, if you want to know more detail about the file system scan or uh, embedding the Docker file, uh, you can watch this video later. Uh, yes, that's it.